Anin, Sego. Hello everyone and welcome back to our final week of the Giving Thanks series. Expressing gratitude or thankfulness is one of the many positive emotions we experience. It's all about focusing on what's good in our lives and being thankful for the things that we have. As human beings, we need to learn to pause and notice, as well as appreciate the things that we often take for granted and all the things that Creator and Mother Earth have given to each and every one of us. Now, with all of that being said, you'll notice that the items in your kit will help you to focus as a family on different things that you are all thankful for. Let's start with our gratitude scavenger hunt. This is perhaps the easiest game for our youngest of family members. So for this game, what we want to do is show each of the children in our family what exactly it is that they're looking for. Have a discussion about the different items that are on the scavenger hunt sheet and then encourage them to start looking for different objects. Once you've collected an assortment of items, have a conversation around why each item was chosen. As parents, caregivers, and older siblings, make sure that you've collected at least one or two different items that you are thankful for. Make sure that you talk about your items and explain why you chose them. It's important that we are able to set an example. Next, let's take a look at the Give Thanks game. This game has colored popsicle sticks that came with it. And it's kind of similar to Jenga, but played a little bit in the reverse. So to play this game, you're gonna have one person hold all of the sticks in their hand and then drop them into one central place. Obviously the sticks are going to fall randomly, which is exactly what we want. Once our sticks have landed, each player is then going to take a turn pulling a stick from the pile. Now, the trick is that you don't make any other sticks move because if you do, you lose your turn and you don't get to collect the stick. The player with the most sticks at the end of the game wins. Next up, we've got Roll the Dice to a Thankful Heart. You had two die that came with this game, as well as instructions. This is a game that you're definitely going to want to play as a family because it can be a little tricky. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Now, every player is going to take a turn, and once you've rolled the dice, the number on the dice to the left is going to be the row number and the number on the right is the column number. You're gonna to wanna to find the intersection of the row and the column and follow the instructions in the square. If the square happens to include a point value, you can go ahead and add it to that player's total. This game ends when the timer signals that the 20 minutes is up. And at the end of the game, you're gonna add the points for each player and the winner is the player with the most points. Let's say I go ahead and I roll my die. The first die that I roll is a number one. The second die that I've rolled is a number six. I'm going to go across to that intersecting square, which would be share an activity that you are thankful for. As I said, this can definitely be a little tricky, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Good luck.
And last but not least, the ever popular tic-tac-toe. Each of your tic-tac-toe boards have two different layouts, one on each side, and you've received two different colors of gems. Once you've got everything set up, you're ready to play. You first need to provide an answer to the question that is in that space. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and set your colored gem in that spot. Continue playing until somebody has three in a row. We hope you enjoy not only this week's games, but also our Giving Thanks series in its entirety. In this crazy and unpredictable world we live in, it's so very important that not only we as adults remember, but we also show our children that there is always, always something to be thankful for. Until next time, Ona.